Hey there, it's Brittany, and it's one of my favorite days of the month. We have Sam's Bead Box, May 2023. Uh, and this is the first time I'm even looking at the box. Uh, Waltz of the Flowers. Oh, that sounds awesome. You know I love flowers. Let's see what's in here. If you are interested in subscribing to Sam's Bee Box, check out the link in the description of this video and use coupon code turquoise for uh, $5 off your first box. All right, so we have our candy this month is mint, or mints. And then it says Waltz of the Flowers. Um, in 1944, this, uh, I'm going to say San Francisco, ballet performed the first unabridged production of the Nutcracker in the States with a tiny $1,000 budget. With materials rationed during wartime, it was truly all hands on deck. Each company member waited in line to purchase their allotted 10 yards of fabric. The true miracle came at Goodwill where the costume designer found velvet stage curtains for $10. Wow. Uh, the Waltz of the Flowers from the Nutcracker provides the inspiration for our May box. With their beautiful costumes, the dancers transform into a fantastic array of colorful flowers moving in step with the orchestra. You'll find the colors of the flowers change with each new production. For our own production, Rachel and I chose a bounty of blue, purple, and golden tones. We selected shapes that bring a sense of movement, luxury, and celebration. We can thank Rachel for scoring the citrine. Ooh, I love citrine. It's my birthstone. She negotiated to purchase a huge box of it right as a show was closing in Tucson. Turns out there's a certain dance in buying beads, too. We can't wait to see what you make with this springtime box. Share your creations and gem chat with the hashtag Sam's Bead Box May 2023. And here's a list of all good information about Sam's um, website. And then here is a list and they include um, retail value for the items in the box. Everything's labeled, so I'm not going to read off the list. Sam uses recyclable packaging for mailing. Okay, here's our bead bundle this month. It looks so yummy. First thing I'm pulling out is the Rivoli Link from Tierra Cast with 12 millimeter crystal, gold plated 14 by 22 millimeter, and a ginkgo leaf charm antique gold plate, 13 by 13 and a half millimeter two piece set. So here we have some cute little ginkgos. Cute, 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 love those. And then this Rivoli is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. It's way sparklier in person than it's showing up in my camera. Next, we have Check Glass Six Sided Barrel White Silk Gold 7 by 19 millimeter six pieces. Gold dusting may wear over time. Well, thank you for the the warning because sometimes, you know, if you don't know that ahead of time, it can be a little frustrating. But I think with these, it'll give us a good worn look. Um, I love these. I haven't seen that that gold finish on over white before like that. Um, check glass table cut heart blue crystal swirl 15 millimeter four piece set. You know I love hearts. Those are super cute. I love this one. That looks like 80s Care Bear heart almost. <laughs> Those are really cute. Next we have some citrine. These are the nuggets heated. Size varies and it's one ounce. They have natural inclusions. Those are gorgeous. These feel awesome. Oh my gosh, I want a bracelet. I'm going to make these into a bracelet. I want them as a necklace and a bracelet, but there aren't enough, so I'm going to make them into a bracelet. That is so cool. Next, we have Check Glass Daisy's Teal Dance Mix, 8.5 millimeters, about 20 pieces. These are beautiful. These look like, um, like gummies, like, like gummy candy. I feel like that's a color uh, colorway you would see in gummy sharks or something. Those are so cool. Next we have check glass mandala flower teal gold 18 millimeter one piece. Beautiful. I always thought this looked like a snowflake, but with this color combo, it doesn't look like a snowflake. 
I love that. I love that it's a see-through glass. Candy Jade Long Pear Brio Dyed Purple and Blue. 16 by 26 millimeter, two pieces. Cute. Check glass Petal Lavender Amethyst Gold. 13 uh, millimeter, eight piece set. Gold dusting may wear over time. I like these. I love the shape. It's not my favorite color purple, but I like that gold fleckled finish on it. And I like the shape and the size of these. So it's interesting. And then we have champagne quartz glass, faceted teardrop, two pieces and nugget, one piece. Occasional imperfections. Yeah, I was like, I've never heard of champagne quartz, but it's just like cherry quartz. Um, it's man-made. It's just glass. So these are the two large uh, teardrops. These would make cool pendants, and then this would be a cool focal on a bracelet. Hmm. Next we have check glass kiwi white opal gold. Uh, 10 by 13 and a half millimeter six piece set and again that gold dusting may wear over time and that's because coated beads though it depends on how you're wearing them now if you're wearing this on a necklace and let's say it's like dangly it, it might not wear as much as if you're it's a stretch bracelet that you're wearing every day if you put them in an earring they might not wear at all but when you have a coated bead or a painted bead um, they tend to wear off. I've seen that a lot with like um, coated glass pearls. Check glass art deco ovals etched clear crystal purple 12 by 16 and a half millimeter four piece set. These are cool. We've gotten these before. I love that vibrant purple. That's awesome. I love that. Next we have check glass leaf blue sky mix seven and a half by 12 millimeter about 16 pieces pretty very pretty I guess I'm not I might not I'm I I'm not, I'm not I think I'm struggling to see the color pa pa palette the color way that was chosen um, and I think it could be because I've never seen the play I don't know if these are colors that are in a certain portion of the play um, check glass hibiscus flower dreamy amethyst mixed gold nine and a half millimeter ten piece set These are pretty these remind me I don't I know I didn't have these as a kid but this colorway um, reminds me of like um, beads that I had at the um, like late 90s early 2000s and then the rest of the beads are all strands and he's um, they've been doing this <clears throat> lately, so it, they have the stranded selections and they're spelled out there. So let's see what we have. I have a little, let's see, what is this? The fire polish? Um, I think this is a four millimeter um, check glass fire polish faceted around lavender amethyst um, 65 piece strands, pretty long strand. This one is a uh, check glass fire polish faceted round, lavender amethyst and gold, eight millimeter, 15 piece strand. These are really pretty. I love that gold. Check glass melon, teal, white silk, and gold, six millimeter, 25 piece strand. These are really pretty. Check glass daisy spacer, satin gold, five millimeter, 75 piece strand that's really i love these i love 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 these so cute Ooh, uh candy jade faceted cube seven and a half millimeter dyed purple and blue it's a six inch strand these are yummy look at this one right here is my favorite that is gorgeous those look like those little blue mints that were like hard candy that I, my grandpa always had in his pocket when we were kids and we have a camellia Camellia Crystal Gold AB, 13 and a half millimeter, eight piece strand. Ooh, look at that. 
That AB is amazing. These look like little holographic flowers. I love that. That's This is one of my favorite things I've seen in the box so far besides the um, citrine. We've got a Check Glass Faceted Heart Brio Champagne 9 by 9.5 millimeter 8 piece strand. Those are cool. We have a Melon Gold Dust Clear Crystal 20 piece strand 8 millimeter. Those are beautiful. And then we have a Check Glass Druck Round uh, gold dust white silk eight millimeter 15 piece strand I like this box um, I, I think once we started getting to the strands I started seeing the cohesiveness because we tied in more of that uh, cream with the the citrine color and the purple um, I think my favorite things were these nuggets or the citrine yeah citrine nuggets uh, the camellia flowers because I love that finish Oh, I really love these hearts and um, these two strands, but this, this, these cubes are just amazing. I love, love, love these cubes. All three of those colors are beautiful. So I'm going to look at these for maybe a day or two and then come up with a project. Okay. I'm so sorry that I'm posting this video so late. Today is May 30th. I don't even remember what day I filmed the unboxing, but life caught up as you all know i moved into my new house but i don't know if you guys know this uh like three days after i moved in i headed to a business trip to cleveland for my day job so and that was excruciating <laughs> um it was a huge presentation and it went really well but it's taken it took the life out of me last week so um i am finally getting back because i like doing with sam's beadbox uh tutorial i could have just posted the unboxing but i really wanted to make something unfortunately i'm not making the thing i really wanted to make which was a necklace um because the necklace was going to take very long time to make and i don't have um the amount of time right now um i will be on vacation starting next week for two weeks so i will be having time to make jewelry and videos but we're going to make a bracelet today um and a pair of earrings so the bracelet obviously we're going to be using this beautiful stone strand um i'm going to use one of these one of these and this ginkgo leaf that was in the kit i have some purple one millimeter leather now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think this is one millimeter. I think it's half millimeter. And then this is from an old box from Sam. I'm gonna take this button. This bracelet isn't even the bracelet that I wanted to make. I just couldn't find any of my leather. It's also, I'm gonna pan over. So you're gonna see how terrible this desk is because I was just doing videos last night. But look, I haven't unboxed anything yet from my move so this is why I can't find the leather I need I can't find anything so we're we're winging it it's still gonna be pretty but yeah and then we have my t disastrous tabletop <laughs> oh, it's not all glitz and glam people <laughs> so okay I'm gonna cut this open probably gonna end up using well actually I'm gonna be nodding so I don't think I'm gonna use the whole strand but I'm going to grab two yards of this. And I actually don't know, I don't have my, oh, this is in two pieces, okay. You know, I don't know how long this piece is, but the leather was in two pieces. I'm just going to, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna string on my, button and if this doesn't if it's not long enough for my wrist then one of my friends will get it or I'll give it away <laughs> all right so isn't that button so beautiful I love tear cast and we're just going to tie a knot I really want to get my desk set up but I've decided my old table was too big the one that I'm using right now so I'm going to sell that hopefully on Facebook marketplace and then um, I, there's a tabletop that I really want to go with my Alex my shorter Alex Ikea drawers that's well I think either this length of table or a little bit longer but it's thinner and it's at Ikea like I said but they're sold out and they should be back in stock by next Monday. So I keep checking their app just in case, but guess what? They're not, it's not in stock yet. So I am just gonna, oh, hopefully 
these fit through. I think they do. I'm going to put one strand through, move down my bead. I've done this, this um, bracelet several times before, but it's always nice doing something you've done before in a different colorway. And then I'm just going to knot between each bead. So there's going to be purple leather on the outside of my beads. We'll see how far we go with however long <laughs> my piece was. I know it wasn't two yards. It might have been a yard, a yard and a half. Okay. And I am just going to keep going with my faceted cubes. And let me tell you, I just think these are gorgeous. It's just such beautiful colorway, beautifully cut stones. Sam and Rachel knocked it out of the park like they always do. I'm going to show you three because there are three colors and then I'm going to get off camera and not the rest because it's just going to go a lot faster. But depending on the size of your leather, the size of the holes in your beads, you can do um, you know, what other size you want. And you know what, now I'm thinking the, the charms, I don't know if the charms are gonna work for what I wanted this time, but I'm gonna go ahead and knot, and then I'll show you once I'm finished. All right, like I said, super simple, but so impactful, it's so pretty. I love that turquoise, of course I do. <laughs> and then um, to finish it off, I am just gonna take my um, two ends here, and I'm gonna measure how much space I need for a button. So probably like right there, we'll do our knot. And before we tighten it, we're gonna measure a second time because, um, well, it's not quite measure twice, cut once, but you know what I mean. Same principle, measure twice, uh, knot once, I should say. All right, so we're gonna get it a little tighter, but not all the way, and then just kind of slip that button through to make sure it's not too big or too small. There, it was so funny, when I was um, living in my temporary apartment, I only took certain pieces of jewelry with me, the rest I packed. And there was one bracelet I wanted to wear like six times, but I could never get the clasp to work. It was just like a, a hook and eye clasp. And I even had my bracelet helper with me and I just could not get it. So. <laughs> I've convinced myself I'm just gonna change the clasp. So a clasp can make or break your bracelet here. That's what I'm saying. Make sure that you get it the right size. So, and then if you wanted it to be adjustable, say you were buying, or I mean, sorry, you were selling these, um, then you could do another one here. Make this part shorter if you want. But I did measure this on my wrist and I'm not gonna have any troubles closing it. Um, were there any really, let's see. Yeah, well, I have two of these left. How fortunate, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a knot here. I could leave them. To, well, I'm gonna see what it looks like with a knot, um, and then if I if I want to, I can keep it in place with the knot, or I can just let it free roam. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then I'm gonna trim here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the last turquoise, because you know I'm gonna use the turquoise ones. <laughs> and um, make it a little bit longer. Shouldn't have strung on my bead yet. So 
kind of where that other one ends is where I'm starting my first knot. Put this on. And then we made a bracelet that didn't need a drop of glue, a piece of wire, a crimp bead, or anything. You just knotted it with your hands and used some, a cutting utensil and you're good to go. You could dab a little bit of glue there, but I'm not going to. It's so tiny, it's going to stay together. All right, and then I'm just going to trim and thank my lucky stars that I had enough leather to make the bracelet that I was envisioning. So I'm going to slip this through here. And over time, this will these aren't going to stay together so much as you wear your bracelet. It will break itself in and then this will probably get more loose over time as well. So if you make a really tight bracelet, it might not stay tight the more you wear it. And uh, there we go. So pretty. Thank you to Sam and Rachel for designing such a beautiful box. Love the colorway. I actually have two necklaces in mind, although I already used these beads, so one of them won't work anymore. <laughs> but um, I had another necklace in mind for these champagne quartz nuggets and teardrops. So um, stay tuned for that. Uh, and uh, I will talk to you soon. If you're interested in subscribing to Sam's Beadbox, um, check out the link in the description below. We're coming up on June, so you st I'm pretty sure you still have time to get your order in um, before uh, the June box goes out. Can't wait to see what's in that. And then, um, P.S., use coupon code turquoise for $5 off your first box. So let me know if you like the bracelet. Let me know if you're already subscribed to Sam's Box, what you thought of this month. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for a gold day. She's super duper cute. Bye-bye. I totally forgot I did and wanted to do um, an easy pair of earrings. So I busted out this bead, love these beads. Um, and this tiara cast piece that I had in my stash. And then um, I am also gonna use a ball head pin. I'm just gonna do a simple wire wrapped loop around the top of this bead. And I do mean simple is the name of the game in this video, which sometimes is fantastic when everything around you is moving at the speed of light, right? Okay, I'm going to cut that off. Then I have a teeny tiny jump ring, and then I'm just going to connect that to the loop on the tiara cast piece. And then I just have an ear wire. And we're just going to hang that middle piece of that tiara cast piece right there. And we're going to make sure that that's facing the right way. It's not. There we go. And by the facing the right way, I mean like the cut from the wire is in the back now. And then we have a less than five minute pair of earrings that's super cute and matches our bracelet. Love Tierra Cass and Sam's Beatbox together. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for Goldie. Bye bye. Oh goodness, mommy can't see you. There you are. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Hi. So mommy, you're up to. Everybody loves you too on the online. Are you gonna help me unpack this room? No. Okay.